Hello everyone, my name is Alias Mouse, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Mystical Chain. This is a beat-em-up Toho fan game made by Lionheart, where you get to choose two out of three characters and you go for levels and beat up bosses. Pretty bit straightforward, but it's a really fun game. I would recommend. I would definitely recommend it if you really like beat-em-ups. So, why don't we get started? Now the three characters you get to pick are Marissa, Patchouli, and Alice. For this uh, playthrough, I'm going to be choosing Marissa and Patchouli just because I'm more used to them than, uh, than using Alice, and we are going to play on normal. basic movement here. You can jump, you can dash around lots of times, and you can hit. And you can swap characters quickly to start combos. Interesting things you can do with your partner are you can set them to ambush where they'll stay in place and they'll also recover their health faster. Kind of cool. And also just for saying, um, Marissa is more of a close range attacker even though she does have, um, she does have, like, ranged attacks, I guess, and Patchouli and Alice are kind of more ranged attackers. Well, I can't really say about um, Alice because I haven't really played her that much. Okay, let's see if I can do something here. There we go. That was cool. <laughs> now for the last one. Oh, and I actually have still got her on ambush. There we go. Finished. And you also, have, at the bottom, you have, like, coupling points. I'm not exactly sure how those work. And you also have, like, a master and slave meter, which basically tells you which character you're using more. I'm going to try to keep it towards the middle, though. And uh, stage two for this one, it introduces fairies as an enemy now. Instead of just the... <clears throat> excuse me. Instead of just the white uh, puffballs, I guess, F-O-E's. <laughs> but... Fairies, they're really not that much more difficult, so they're really not that much more to worry about. Get him down. Blast you with magic. And hit you with a broom. Okay, let's go. Ah, how did I miss? There we go. Oh, that could have gone better. You could kind of hit, like, with, when you attack, you could kind of hit in different directions, too. Like with Marissa, if you hold down while she's um, it, if you hold down while she's smacking her ow, if she's smacking her broom around, she will hit the enemy downward, which would make it easier for combos if I would do that. <laughs> Let's see if I can get her. Nope. Oh well, get you instead. What was I doing? And I don't know why I switched there because I would not have been able to get him. Ow. Well, at least he's dead. Come on. Yeah. Also, the uh, the white, oh, white, the blue meter at the top uh, is like your magic meter, basically. And that was finished. <clears throat> and also with the numbers, that's basically how many times you can swap, I believe. That's what. That's just what I've noticed as I played this game. And this introdu this level introduces yet another new type of enemy, basically the FOE with um, that's gold or like yellowish, and it'll s sit down and or it'll stop moving and charge electricity, meaning you can't touch it. So that's where you can use like this attack right here of Marissa's, or you can use Petuli. As you can see, I can't switch anymore until like I stop attacking and let the meter or er, let the numbers go up again. There we go. Switch just somewhere to stick in here or not. That was too. It should go for a combo there anyway. I should try doing more combos. And that's like another move of uh, Patchouli where she'll use wind to boost herself up. Thirty-three, not bad. Now you. I 
I still don't understand the coupling points and how those work. And basically what you just encountered in the last level. That could ow ow. This could go better. Okay. Up here for a minute. I will let you heal, Patchouli. Come on. There we go. And I'll let Marissa take care of these. There we go. Ow. Really? Get over here. Look at that. Alright, now for you guys. There we go. Okay, Patchouli's nearly healed up, so that won't be a problem. Maybe. Still kind of recovering from a cold, so kind of, my throat's kind of meh. Okay, now for these guys. Marissa, what are you doing all the way over there? Okay, you... Ow! I could have gone a little better. There we go. That was pretty good. I really like doing the chains in these games. Uh, in these games, they're really fun. Or like doing the chain in this game, it's really fun. And I just did the wind attack again by accident. There we go. There. And now a new fairy has been introduced. It holds a sunflower and it has blue hair, and you can't attack it from the front. Yeah. If you attack from the front, it'll basically just laugh it. Or wait. Oh, we got it from behind, that's why. Yeah, it'll just like basically laugh at you and then just blast you with a bunch of bullets. So you gotta get these ones from behind. They're really, they can be really, really annoying sometimes. Especially, like, vari variations of this one in the later levels. There. That wasn't too hard. Okay, let's go after you. There we go. Now for you. Ah, dang. Well, still, no bad combos there. Or chains, rather. Like I said, I'm going to try to keep the Slave Master meter towards the middle. And now we get to face our boss. It's the judge of her de of the dead herself, Eki. Or Shiki Eki. I can't really pronounce her name, I'm sorry. She's not that difficult of a first boss. You just gotta know, you just kinda gotta know the patterns. For this one, she'll just shoot lightning at you a few times. Just keep I'd use Marissa for this because she's the faster of the two of these. With ah, okay. Ow. And then Eki will go in the middle, and then you can attack her. And that could have gone better. Not a problem. Yeah. Ow. Okay. Use Marissa. There we go. We went with it, got it without any hits this time. Okay, I should have hit down there, but that's not bad. She just needs, like, one more hit, basically. Or one more chain. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, dash through, dash through, and... I Eat my broom. This one I prefer using patchouli for, but you can really use either. You just gotta cop up here and wait. Or you can go back there, too, behind her, and just wait for her to stop and swoop down. Dang, I could have gone better. Not a very hard spell card, though. I think one more time and she'll be good to go. 
Or it will launch to the next spell card anyway. Down she goes. Ah, dang it. I don't know why I missed. Oh well. But still. Patchouli, your hat is gonna be singed. And there we go. Now on to her final spell card. This one she calls in Komachi, and you basically what happens you have to take down Komachi to even get a chance to hit Eki because you won't be able to get up there. I prefer using um, Patchouli for for taking out Komachi just because she's more she has more ranged attacks. And yeah, Eki will be distracted. She'll start hitting Komachi, and then she, Komachi will get back up and. Holy cow, I can't believe I almost beat her in one go. Wish that one a little better. Okay, come here, Axe. Come here, Komachi. Ow. Stop. Stop throwing money. Stop it. There. Oh. Okay. Okay, will this work? How did I miss? Oh my good. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. This is becoming bad. Oh jeez. Um, I'm gonna have to switch over to Marissa. How did I do this badly on the first boss? Oh dear. Um, okay. Take that. Knocked her out. There. Oh. How did I do that badly? Well, it wasn't that terrible, but still. Oh well, but with that, we've, um, we've beat the fir very first stage, and I will see you all next time on Stage 2. Or Chapter 2, rather. <laughs>